In the previous video, when we created a composition, it was automatically connected to the viewer. And this composition also connected to the timeline. The timeline has a dual role in the creative process. The left part of the timeline is for the layer stack. This is where the various graphic elements will be stacked, like we described in previous videos using the hamburger analogy. The right part of the timeline is made up of the dope sheet, which lets us define the timing of these elements, whether or not they're graphic elements. Just like with the viewer, it's possible to disconnect and reconnect a composition to a timeline. If we take a look at the composition parameters in the Properties panel, we can see that its duration is currently 30 seconds. In the last video, we set the number of frames per second to 30. This means that in the span of one second, for example, between 0 and 1 second, Autograph will produce 30 images. It's important to remember that Autograph uses seconds as the base unit of time. Some compositing software work with frames as the base unit. Here, we're only concerned about the frame rate when playing the sequence. The concept of timing in Autograph is very important. Whether you're working with sound or you need to synchronize animations, it's really important to remember that Autograph's unit of time is seconds. Later on, we'll go over the several ways to represent this duration. We'll also see how to work with multiple timelines at the same time and how to connect a specific timeline to a viewer. That's why at the bottom of the viewer, you'll see an indicator where you can select the timeline that manages timing. Practice connecting and disconnecting compositions from both the viewer and the timeline because it's important to get into the habit of doing this naturally when working on projects. In this video, we went over how to connect a composition to a timeline, set the composition duration, and set the composition frame rate. 